Hello, good morning everyone. It's nice to hear you again. Um, sana okay kayong lahat dyan. <coughs> So, by the way, I'm Juvelin S. Emporius, 23 years of age, and my hometown is in Barangay Pinayaga Norte, Tubigon, Bohol. So, yes, guys, I'm Boholana, and now I'm currently living in Barangay Danglag, Puro Calabasa, Consolacion, Cebu. So, I live with my brother in law's house. And they are the one who supported my study in CTU. So, I'm taking Bachelor of Elementary Education, major in Early Childhood Education, 4th year student, um, Section B. Uh, we do this video for our subject, Effective Communication with Families and Professionals. In this video... Uh, you will know about my student's life during COVID-19 pandemic, my best practices during the pandemic, how, how does pandemic affect especially to us students and to the teachers, and lastly, my realizations while on quarantine. So, okay guys, let's start. How was my student life during COVID-19 pandemic? So, during the COVID-19 pandemic was spread and classes was suspended, uh, my student's life changed a little bit. Uh, so, let's start with my daily routines. Um, waking up as early as 4.30 a.m. to take a bath and preparing my school stuff for going to school uh, when home quarantine starts I'll never wake up early and I can stay late at night because tomorrow will be no class so past few months before class suspended a uh, struggle is real in commuting going to school back and forth I'm getting hard to ride a jeep going to the city uh, we ran as fast as we can to chase the jeep so that we can ride in and we can come early without being late. So, after the class, dismissal, struggle again in commuting for going home. Many passengers and heavy traffic. And when I came home, it's already... 6 to 7 p.m. Uh, feeling tired and sleepy. Sometimes I cannot rest early and I sleep late at night to do some projects and assignments for tomorrow's class. But during home quarantine, as we do online class, uh, less stress and struggles. I can rest anytime and it is advantage too because I can help my sister doing the household chores and playing with my two nephews. Uh, although there are plenty of online activities to be done, at least I can relax whatever I want. Uh, I can answer my activities anytime. But there is some problem I encountered in doing the online activities. I'm getting hard to find signal in our area because I'm in the province. Signal will be fast during dawn between 2 to 4 a.m. So in order to receive the email and activities and do some research, I will woke up early. Uh, the second is the budget for buying a load for my packet Wi-Fi since my brother-in-laws have no work because of lockdown. So, we need to save our money and make priorities for our 
really needs than the load but it is fine i understand the situation and i'm glad also that i'm blessed to have a laptop a phone and pocket wi-fi so less worries pang load na lang yung kulang um, i also extend some help to my classmates who cannot access internet during passing of activities when they cannot buy a load uh, during home quarantine we do some sideline and business in order to have some small profit while on quarantine my sister made some washable mask and selling it for 30 to 50 pesos and it depends on the style we also sell mungo sprout yung taugi na ginagawang lumpia 35 per kilo nagtitinda rin kami online ng mga prutas gaya ng manga uh, grapes, apple oranges, siniguilas uh, dito lang po sa barangay namin So, ayun, kahit naka-quarantine ka, may magagawa ka talaga. So, depende lang yan sa diskarte ng buhay. So, may pang-load na ko para sa research. Uh, so, yun yung mga life ko during COVID-19 pandemic. So, what are my best practices during the pandemic? So, I will show you some videos sa mga best practices ko during home quarantine. Ito pala ang isa sa mga best practices ko sa bahay ay ang paghuhugas ng kamay. So, mahalaga ngayon na ugaliin natin maghugas ng kamay kasi lalo na ngayon may COVID-19. So, inuugali ko talaga yung paghuhugas ng gamay bago at matapos kumain. Tsaka, may, tsaka pag may ginagawa ako sa mga gawaing bahay at pagkatapos kong mag-CR. So, ganito ako maghuhugas ng gamay. So, una, basahin muna yung kamay. Tapos, kumuha ng sabon at pagulain. So, ganito ang maghuhugas. Palm to palm. So, between fingers. <clears throat> Tapos, back of the hands. Kabila naman. Tapos, sa base of the thumb. Kabila. Then, sa fingernails. Then, rest to rest. Hanggang 20 seconds. Tapos, banlawan. Yan. So guys, malinis na yung kamay natin. So yung ginagawa ko pag mat matapos ako mahugas ng kamay, uh, tsaka ako maglalagay ng alcohol. Kahit anong alcohol guys kasi, para iwas germs. So, uh, advantage natin ngayon na nasa bahay tayo, pwede tayo makapaghugas ng kamay kaysa yung alcohol lang. So, ayan. Malinis na. Uh, good afternoon, guys. So, magluluto kayo tayo ngayon ng sinabuwang gulay. So, kukuha muna tayo ng malunggay.
guys, wala na itong harvest sa atong garden. Manata siya eh. Malunggay. Malunggay. Fresh malunggay. Natay talong. Duha rin dito buok ang napuko. Maupay bunga. Then, alugbati. Tinanumra ni guys sa among gamay ng garden. Then, kangkong. Sa mong kangkong, dara. Kangkong. O, oh, magkuan taluto taog sinabawang gulay. O, oh. hindi na gitaon mo magutan guys. Kung on siya available sa inyong gulay. Kaya tanom ninyo. Tapos tayong kumain ng gulay, pwede rin kayong kumain ng prutas para maraming vitamin. So, ito, saging para rich in potassium, orange, vitamin C, at saka apple. Uh, kasabihan nga, uh, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. So, it so guys, ugal ugaliin natin kumain ng prutas at gulay para maging malakas tayo at healthy yung katawan natin at yung immune system. So, kainan na! Inuugali ko rin ang pag-inom ng vitamin C araw-araw pagkatapos kumain. 
So, ito yung vitamins ko. Ascorbic acid, potency, at saka may generic din ascorbic acid. Mura lang po ito tag mga 6 to 8 pesos only. Para malakas ang ating resistensya laban sa COVID-19. So guys, tuwing gabi, inuugali ko rin ang pagtitimpla at pag-iinom ng gatas. Uh, ito po yun guys. Bear brand po yung gatas ko. Kasi ano, mura lang. Tapos, nagbibigay din ito ng lakas at resistensya. Ah... Uh, may nakapagsasabi sa akin na mas maganda daw inumin yung gatas tuwing gabi para maganda raw yung tulog mo at ang pagising mo. So, totoo guys, proven and tested.